This is Kana Fuiko. I'm going to be making a little quick guide for you guys. So, right here I'm in Unity version 2019.4.12. And what I'm doing is I want to kind of give you guys a bit of a kind of guidance to how mouse based tracking works. So. Now this can't, I can't really make this into a tutorial tutorial where I, I actually show you how to make the blend shapes because it really depends on, it really depends on your model and what technique you want. So let me, let me explain the technique part and then we'll get into specifically how we do it. So first of all, for custom models, if you have a custom model made from complete scratch, or it's a, basically a mall that's not even void. Like, um, like let's say you download a mall from online and you have the FBX file and all that and you want to add mouse uh, shifting and all that. You would need Blender to do that. So make sure uh, if, you want, if you're going to deal with a custom mall, you need to learn Blender and just basic um, blend shape creation. Which shouldn't be too hard, but of course, if you're completely brand new to 3D, um, then yeah, I can completely understand that it could be quite a hassle trying to learn different stuff and all that. So I I completely understand, which is why I'm trying to make a a, a Blender tutorial series on how to navigate through Blender. So um, hopefully that can help. But there's always guides out there to learn Blender. Even the Blender manual explains everything. So don't worry. Um, and I'm also here, so if you need any help on Blender, you can private message me on Discord. Um, I have my Discord server in the description. You can join, you can message me, say, hey, I need help. And I'm, I'm always around to at least help give some guidance. Or you can check out Deet's Discord server. You can publi publicly ask for help. I'm also there as well. So if you need Blender help, I'm there as well. Um, now let's say you are a Void model and you also hate Blender. Well, you can actually use HANA tools to add the mouse shifting, which is much more easier. Although it does cost $9, which isn't much, it's quite cheap. Um, so if you absolutely do not want to make these blend shapes from complete scratch, you can use HANA tools. And if you have a Roy model, then that's great. I'm not sure if HANA tools works well with custom models. There might be some issues, I'm not sure. But if you are custom, I prefer you use Blender, or if you're an MMD model, originally a PMX file, use PMX Editor or Blender, whichever. Proportional tool edits exist in Blender, so that can help you a lot more with getting a better look. Um, I believe Fofamit kind of has a guide um, on like making the iPhone face tracking. So you could check out her video if you want to kind of get like a reference to how to make the blend shapes and all that. Although I'll put them in the description on how to make blend shape for beginners and um, and other videos in the description that might help you get some more references. So hopefully that can help uh, with blend shape creation. Now if you already have the blend shapes or you've already created them now, I I'm going to tell you all you need... Now, there's two ways with mouse track mouse tracking. There's tracking base and there's audio based. Now, let me go over tracking base first of all. You only need four shape keys: up, down, left, right, mouse shift. Um, so let me show you how they look like. So this is my character at the bottom right. If you see the thing moving, I can make it bigger so you can see it. So it's this right here. Um, you should be able to see it. it's literally half of the right side of my screen. But, um, so if you, okay, so you see this. So if you want just mouse tracking alone, that's it. All you need to do is when configuring your VRM blend shapes, which you go to your VRM. So if you go to the assets panel right here, this is called the assets panel. Find the folder that says Blend Shapes, click on it, and then find the animation clip, which these are called animation clips. Find the one that says Blend Shape and click on it, and it should show your Blend Shape list. 
Now, if you want to get the mouse tracking for the mouse, what you need to do is you are going to set Joy as mouse shift basically to, to the character's right side, but basically your left. So right side of the character is going to point this way, which you can just see right here on my character for reference. Um, anger will be mouse down. Sorrow will be mouse shift left, or just mouse left. And then um, surprise, so let me get surprise. Surprise will be mouse up. And all you need to do is just calibrate with just your mouse movement in VC face, and that's it. Um, it does take some trial and error with the calibration. So um, it's just simple, like move your mouse. So if you check out my VC face ultimate guide, there should be a section that shows you how to calibrate your face, um, which I'll put that in the description. But you basically do that method, but all you're doing is just literally just moving your mouse. That's it. Do not move your eyes. Well, you can blink and all that. That's okay. But don't um, kind of like make your face angry or make your face look sad. Just move your mouse. That's it. Keep a neutral face, but move your mouse and you should be good to go on mouse base tracking and all that. Now keep in mind also, because it does take over the default mouse tracking in VC face, you will have to rely on hotkeys for other expressions. So anger, you need to make that a hotkey. So if you really, um, if you really want the mouse base tracking, yes, you will need to have these other expressions separate. For sorrow, it's sad. Joy is cheery. Surprise is shock. And angry is anger. If you have those and you set them up with expression things in VC face, you should have them as hotkeys and they should work. They should work as hotkeys and you can keep your mouse base tracking. So they should be able to work pretty well. Um, so yeah, and if you don't like it, you want completely hands-free expression detection, then just leave it as, you know... You know, just put your normal expressions um, in the normal slots, like angry is angry and so on. So you can just leave it like the way you had it, but if you want the mouse tracking, then, you know, set it up to what I said. Now, let's say you want the audio-based one, the one where if you talk, your mouse just shifts randomly. You need to set up OVR lip sync blend shapes, which you can check the website out, link in description. So, um, there's a reference for how they should look like. Now, my recommendation, if you really want them to look good, I highly recommend to use Blender and re make this blend shape from scratch. Do not use cats, because if you use cats, you're literally just kind of like slapping VC faces set up onto its default lip sync. So... Don't use cats because you're just literally just playing the same thing. There's really no difference between cats and VC face setup. It's the same method. So keep that in mind. It's best to make them at least look very unique if you want that dynamic look. But, I mean, if you want to go for it, sure, if that works for you. But I highly recommend just make it unique. You could try using HANA tools to create these blend shapes. You could try. I mean, like I said, you could just have the normal, like, um, like just mix the vowel blend shapes, A-E-I-O-U. Um, you could just blend these and just have mouse shift and that's it. It won't look the best, but it can be quite, you know, simple for those who are, you don't, who don't want to use Blender at all, but still want that fake mouse shifting. Um, you could just combine AEIOU and then with mouse shifting and that's it with HANA tools. But if you're a custom model, then, you know, make your mouse shifting, make your OVR blend shapes, and then just have it like this. So this one is for Sill. It's silent. So I kind of have it frowning a little bit on the character with the mouse kind of, the upper lip kind of going over the bottom lip a little bit. 
Um, huh would be puff cheeks with the mouth more over the the upper lip o more over the bottom lip. Huh is um, where the teeth is like this, and there's a little bit of a puff, but not too much. The is basically where it shifts to the right side of the character and kind of has an opening in the mouth like this. D is kind of like has some lower movement in the mouth with right shifting and all that and kind of like some mouth stretching. Ch is going to be on the left side with some cheek puffs and um, this type of mouth position. S which will be just kind of like you don't really see much teeth they're kind of like in the mouth um, but it's like a s, s sound but shifts to the right of the avatar n which is two n's now this n over here don't worry about this one but there's two n's it'll be on the other side opposite of s so n's um it'll look like this it's kind of like it's kind of like a uh, duh, but opposite. So you can think of it like that. K would look like this, like k k. So it's on the right side with a shift. Er would be with some cheek puffs, and on the left side like this. And ah would be like this. Now keep in mind, um, this ah isn't really detected in VC face. This is just an extra blend shape. Um, there are other sh blend shapes that OVR has, but really the other lip syncs, the other blend shapes are literally just the default VRM, AEIOU. So you need to have AEIOU filled out in order to complete the OVR blend shape detection. So that way it looks nice. You don't need this blend shape. This one right here is just an extra but as long as you have s, p, f, z, d, ch, s, n, k, r, a, as long as you have those, um, and by a I meant uh, this a right here, you should be perfectly good. And other than that, once they are, you can create blend shape by clicking on create blend shape clip here in case you don't know. Um, so you can do that. Um, so, once you have all of that, and they're all in, you know, the VRM blend shape list, they can't just be lying in your FBX file. They have to be registered in VRM, and this is what register in VRM means. Because this right here, these are the, F these are the FBX blend shapes here. This is the VRM specific ones. They're different. So keep that in mind, but other than that, that's pretty much it for how you basically just set up. The OVR lip sync will just automatically be detected in VC Face, so they should work. Um, for the mouse tracking base, you will have to calibrate it. You can use my um, VC Face Ultimate Guide to set that up, which isn't too hard. It should only take like five minutes or... Probably less than that, actually. It should take, like, probably, like, a couple minutes um, just to set it all up. But that's pretty much just about it. I do hope this helps you. This is just a guide. This, I don't really... Sh I'm not showing you how to make the blend shapes because it really depends on the person. If you do want me to show you, like, a quick guide on how to make the blend shapes in Blender, sure, I can teach you. But, of course, link in description... I have some tutorials down there, which should be useful, but if you want me to teach you a much more easier approach, then sure, I'll gladly help you out on that. But other than that, if you need extra help, if this doesn't make sense, you can contact me via Discord, Twitter, or any of my socials in the description. I am available for any private help and stuff. I am on Deet's Discord server, so if you're there, you can always at me and ask for any additional help. Um, but hopefully um, this really helps you kind of get that iPhone kind of mouse shifting. But keep in mind, this isn't 100% um, the best way to get that iPhone tracking. Because definitely depth and RGB is different. 
depth has you know they have the actual sh you know smarter tracking than RGB but even then RGB which is known as your webcam is getting quite better so maybe it might be somewhat equivalent but it might not ever reach depth camera so keep that in mind if you really want that actual iPhone tracking then yeah try going for a very cheap iPhone and all that uh, it's pretty ch uh, you can probably find an old iPhone pretty cheap but of course it can be quite expensive especially with VTubers buying iPhones it could be quite expensive to try and find even a new version or a new clean one or something really depends on where you live and all that but other than that, uh, go for iPhone if you really want the tracking itself, but if you don't want to spend money and you kind of want to like see if it's kind of like worth it for you, then yes, you could try out this method. This is definitely useful. Um, so yeah, hopefully this kind of helps you out. Let me know if you need help with anything. Um, this is kind of who you go with just a mouse shifting little guide for VC face. And I will also say this also kind of works for tracking world, but only with the OVR lip sync, not the tracking based, but, um, but the, the OVR lip sync stuff, yes, that can actually work with tracking world, so that is quite beneficial, but other VRM related programs, no, unless they have OVR lip sync custom stuff supported yeah but if they don't which most of them don't have the support no they would not be able to detect that mouth shifting audio based stuff but other than that that's pretty much it um have fun with this go crazy uh experiment more with vc faces tracking because there might be some other stuff that you guys might figure out that i can't figure out but go ahead, play around, go crazy, go wild and all that. This is kind of who you go. Say another everybody. Have a good day. Bye.